everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories bringing for you today a Project Life process video for August 2016, Part 1. Just showing you the embellishments I'm going to be using. I will be using um, brads from my collection, freckled fawn embellishments, some wave stickers I had from my stash. I used those last month as well. My year, my story sticker and barcode, part of a barcode strip. Um, tiny word stickers from Maggie Horns. Um, here I've laid out all of my cards and I'm just starting to trim my photos. Most of these cards are just from the Project Live core kits. I don't know which core kits they are. I have used some papers from the My Year My Story to make up some of these journal cards. Here I'm working on this card. I've used a piece of washi tape from the Freckled Fawn um, kit and using my date stamp, just testing it out to make sure I had it right. Um, adhering down my photo. Digging around in my stash for some embellishments. Um, here I'm going to use some of these brads. I'm just trying to use up a lot of my stash lately. Um, so these brads have been in my stash for years. So. Um, by the end of the month, all of these brads will be used on my layout, so that's exciting. Just using a little banner here to do a little bit of journaling um, about um, a play date I had with my daughter. Moving on to my next card, the one with the little clouds on it. I thought this card was so cute. Since we were outside playing, I thought it fit the photos very well. We had a play group for my birthday, so I brought little cupcakes for the kids that day. So here my dog. I really need to get better at this because I just have not been getting those stamps all the way through, so I've been having to fix them up with my pen. Adding a little bit of journaling here about our day. Um, it said it was my birthday week and playgroup was held at Moriarty Park. I brought cupcakes for us and the toddlers. Um, I got my phone out because I couldn't remember what the name of the park was, so I had to Google it. As you do, um, I'd like to put my locations if I can. Just using some enamel dots from the Freckled Fawn, um, from Freckled Fawn. Trimming up some more photos here from the same playgroup. Here my daughter is trying to learn how to go backwards up the slide. So um, she has mastered going down and now she thinks she needs to master going up the incorrect way. Just adding a little banner sticker here to put a little bit of journaling. Um, rounding my corners. I really need to get a better corner rounder. I used to have a really good one um, by, um, oh, I can't remember what it was by now, but then I bought this one to replace the other one because it wore out and this one is not good at all. So I just need to go and get a new one because I continually, it does not cut correctly and I have to use my scissors anyway. So what the, what's the point? Um, and hearing down another photo of my daughter eating dinner. I celebrate any occasion to uh, document when my daughter eats something new. And here she actually ate a burrito for the first time. So I was so excited. So I documented the occasion. Rounding the corners. Getting out some embellishments. So here's my enamel dots. Some of them are hexagons and some of them are dots and I'm just um, sprinkling them throughout the layout. I just think it just brings some, it draws your eye to that area and just brings a little bit of color, pop, and interest. Um, getting out my tiny word stickers. I'm determined to use up the rest of this sheet um, and I by the end of this month, I've used up all but, I think, three or four of them. So just there's a couple in there that just I really need to find the right photo to put it on because it um quite specific. Now, there's one that says, like, 24-7, and the other one says celebrate. So I wanted to put it on a birthday photo or something or celebrating an occasion. So I'm just waiting for one of those to come up. Here I'm just using some washi tape from Freckled Fawn, and it says everything is going to be okay. 
I just put that with a brad and I'll put an arrow down as well and a journaling area just pointing to the photo of my daughter because I just want to point out that even though she's not a good eater she's still healthy and I keep having to tell myself it's still going to be okay so moving on to this top right hand corner card this ends up being my title card for August so I'd hear down this photo of my daughter and our dog Sheldon she absolutely loves Sheldon and so I love getting photos of the two of them together um, so I've adhered the August sticker and just a strip of washi tape from Freckled Fawn just to add a little bit of interest in that top right hand corner and then adding a brad that had this frilly thing on the outside connected to it and some journaling and I just put Ayla loves Sheldon trying to find a tiny word sticker and I put wonderful and moving on to this next card I will, I'll come back to that card and add something else later um, using my date stamp so I've peeled up some of those cards because I adhered them down before I did the date so I'm just stamping those dates now checking the backs of cards making sure that they're all good um, and I adhered a tiny word sticker to that photo that I just um, stamped on it says you're the one for me and I totally messed up the dates then I had to put an, an um, a journal area down a journal sticker and then stamp again and then I did some journaling underneath that sticker here I'm adding the extra bit of embellishment to that right hand card it's just a couple little hearts from the my year my story it's just one of those barcode um, strips that I've cut off and cut apart that I've saved adding some journaling onto the photos I used my um, permanent marker uh, journaling pen so it doesn't smear just having a look at the layout making sure it's all balanced adding in some enamel dots where I think they are needed and a couple puffy stickers from freckled fawn that I was determined to use the rest of so I used three on this page and I adhered a tiny word sticker that said happy birthday because it was my birthday that day and those were the photos that I got with my daughter on that my actual birthday moving on to the second layout I'm just putting everything in the pockets quickly and getting everything out photos are already cut and I've got the cards all uh, picked out already another swimming scene so I was determined to use more of those wave stickers that I found in my stash I wanted to use more than one but I just couldn't get them to fit on the photos. They were just going to cover up too much. So I just used it on this filler card, cut off the end, and then pasted it onto the next card so it all matched up. Um, some journaling will be coming, I am sure. Um, oh, so I put a banner down to do some journaling up that top of that card. I'm trying to decide what I want to do so I've added a f I've taken off oh I take off that piece of washi because it just did it just clashed really bad it was like a green color and it just was not going with the blue how I liked it um, so I've added in these brads instead and a tiny word sticker that says merriment this way and I'll add a journaling sticker with the date as well I must do that later though just trimming up some photos um, date using my date stamp to stamp that date on that oh I messed it up so I messed up stamping the date so then I had to cover it up with a journaling sticker the joys of that stamp this month I just can't could not get it to stamp right and it's just messing up left right and center but you can cover it up which is awesome Moving on to this next card, it's my daughter and my husband in the pool. He doesn't get to take her very often to the pool, only if we have a makeup lesson. So he got to see, he got to swimming with her. So that was a lot of fun. 
rounding the corner of that card. That is another um, My Year, My Story um, sheet that I've cut up from my paper pad. I'm doing some journaling onto the photo. That photo is of one of the activities we do in the pool. We sing, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, you know, the rest. Um, and that's part of that activity. And then you dump the water over the head. So I just wrote that bit of the song on there just so I remember in years to come what it is he was doing with her in the pool. Trimming up some more of these photos. Um... I loved this hexagon card. It was so cute, but I ended up covering most of it up. I just scrap so photo heavy because I have a hard time choosing which photos I like. And I even really pare it down as it is and still have a hard time fitting everything in. I don't have a lot of room for filler cards and such. Um, but I had trimmed down these photos a lot so they'd all fit. Um using a chipboard banner to do some journaling on this card. I will also add a Brad and some tiny word stickers instead of using um, writing the journaling. Um, date stamping. I actually got it to work that time. The bit of um, tag that I cut off from the journal card above it said today so I'd stuck that next to it and then put the date stamp on there. Now I'm going to poke a hole in this chipboard banner and put the brad through it with the tiny word stickers that say our small sweet darling life. I cut it in half so it actually fits on two lines. Another tiny word sticker that says hello my daughter is sitting there touching a plant and she was telling it hello so I thought that was fitting. Put in another brad on that card, another banner sticker and just doing a little bit of hand journaling. A brad on this swimming sticker and moving on to my favorite card of the page. So this thing said my bucket list and I didn't think that worked so I'm trimming up the card, putting the photo down, and date stamping. Then I'm going to find a banner sticker to cover up bucket list and then use my alphabet, ro my alphabet roller and stamp reading. So then it says my reading list because my daughter is sitting in her little couch reading a book and she absolutely loves reading. And I've journaled all the books she likes to read, so Jamberry, Spot Loves His Dad, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy, Sassy Says, That's Not My Panda, and Sophie's Birthday. And that's where this little Sophie comes in. Sophie is the name of this giraffe, and she's a character in one of my daughter's favorite books. And she's also um, a rubber chew toy for teething toy for babies. Um, apparently it's made from natural rubber so we have the teething toys when she was a baby and this was part of a keychain and then the keychain bit broke off. I tried to make this journaling thing behind it, messed around with it for a long time, you know, folded it over, it had a draft on it so I thought it was fitting, did a whole load of journaling on it about my daughter and her chair and how she likes to read um, and also about this Sophie where this Sophie um, giraffe came from. Then I decided I didn't like it, so then I r pulled out some more of my cards and did something else. As you'll see, I, I mess with this so much and then I just don't like it. It's just, the brown just did not fit very well and then I thought it was gonna stick up too much and then the giraffe didn't show enough. So here I am, I just got out a plain journaling card with um, grid on it and I'm writing everything that I wrote on the other one and I'm just gonna stick it behind the card with a little paper clip sticking up with an enamel hexagon on it so I've hopefully sped through that fast enough so you didn't get bored with what I was doing but I wanted to show you that I changed my mind and I didn't like it so I fixed it and now I like it and then I made a spelling error in the end so then I had to cover it up 
And here I'm putting on the paper clip and the enamel dot. If I thought of it earlier, I'd put it on first. So then when I did the journaling, then the paper clip wasn't covering up one of the words. But what do you do? I was over it and I was done wanting to be done with that card. But I think it turned out well with that journaling. Rounding the corners, putting that um, journaling card behind, but also leaving that paper clip sticking up so you know that it's there. Trimming the edges because with that Sophie, that card was just not small enough to fit in that pocket and it was bulging up a lot. So I made that fit a lot better. On that card, I didn't talk about that card, I cut the photo out as a circle so it fit in the middle of that camera, added a tiny word sticker that said remember when, and a journaling sticker that says right now, and I put in journaling lounging in pajamas, puffy sticker and some enamel dots. Adding everything into my sleeve, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Thank you.